on four is the blessing to the altar. This we have offerings is blessing. And also, Om Ah Om is a blessing to your body, speech, mind. Uh, you know, this our ordinary body, speech, mind is transforming. Uh, connect to the enlightened like, body, speech, mind. The next verse is the Gurus, Devas, Dakinis all come not to this surface. So, we all level, we all, all imagine the uh, gurus. Guru is uh, actually is this uh, the main form is the Pema Sambhava. And then Pema Sambhava and all red norms, actually all the MIT beings in Latin come to this surface. So that's invitation. It's ultra level uh, in Latin. Inner level is uh, uh, you know the Invitate, inviting is uh, actually, you know, our, the body, speech, mind is uh, uh, enlightening body, enlightening speech, enlightening mind. So we create ourselves is the enlightening body, speech, mind. And invitation in know is uh, actually our whole, this whole body has all these chalas, different chalas. So the the all the Buddha is uh, uh, the enlightening uh, Yadam that is arising from our body, chagas. So we have to recognize our self is the Pema Sambhava and enlightening being, enlightening. And then next, uh, ultra inner secret great bliss are the two offering are made, and uh, then. We have ultra levels, these two offerings, two offerings to the enlightened beings. But in our, our you know, this uh, body and wing, channel, all this, uh, the chakra, in our uh, essence of the body is offering to the enlightened beings. So the main point is we have to follow, I think, this idea as two different levels. Uh, Ultra level and inner level. So ultra level is within what enlightenment means, offering all this uh, we create, you know, mentally or physically offering to the enlightenment means. But inner level actually recognize our self is enlightening and then offering also our impure body is transforming. Our desire or negative feeling is transforming. It's called inner offerings. Uh, all impairment and breakage of Samaya come first. So then we, uh, ultra level, so we receiving the teachings from the teacher and uh, many different masters, uh, Dharma teachings we receive, so that we uh, broke many Samaya. So actually, you know, in this Vajrayana tradition, uh, the, we have become one in the mandala, one mandala. So everyone has become, we are all is uh, dharma, uh, follow the sister, one mandala, but then sometimes due to our emotions, you know, create a conflict to each other. So that means that we broken our samayas, and then that all broken samaya is confessing. Uh, then duality, enemies and obstructions obstruct liberate them into the Dharma Dharga. So the confession, uh, ultra level confession, inner level confession. Ultra level confessions we confessing to the enlightened beings. So Pema Sambhava and Mandala we confession to the ultra level. Inner level Confession is uh, absolute true confession is, uh, you know, recognize uh, when we have emotions, you know, when we break in Samaya, so that moment we recognize looking into your own, own mind, I think, we recognize our own nature. So that is the absolute true confession. So that's why I think it's the liberating the, into the Dharma Dharma. Uh, 
then may your wish is the great bless of equality be fulfilled. So when you into the known duality and your mind is into the Dharma part, that means not conceptual, not free from delusion. So that is the absolute truth confession. So when you are in that to that natural state, and then that has the joy and the bliss. So that uh, the, that uh, that joy and the bliss is uh, become fulfilled, you know, uh, to the enlightened beings. Uh, so it's called be fulfilled. Then please grant me attainment ordinary in the spring. So when you uh, follow this practice, uh, all through, you know, so we become uh, the result is uh, attainment ordinary in the spring. Ordinary is like temporary achievement free from samsara and the uh, spring is become uh, get the relaxation in my teammate. So not only free from samsara, I think free from all the you know delusions. That's a Dambaling Dakai. So that's the which is just uh, uh, explain about uh, this talk today we chanting and when you when we attend chant these prayers so it's good it's like all our home is you look to yourself and like blessing your body speech mind and we blessing ourselves not only the auto level talk so sometimes we think about we blessing talk but true blessing we have to blessing ourselves you know look to your body speech mind is transformed then inviting all the beings, so we have all these statues, objects, uh, spiritual things, we are already here, and uh, this is not only just physical like this, you know, we think about this, everything's alive, you know, all the enlightened beings with us, with the soul offering, and then at the same time, you inviting actively our nature is the Buddha, you know, uh, the mind, is, our mind is Buddha, but due to our obstacles, we don't recognize, so you really, really try to recognize your own nature as Buddha. So then that means you really invite yourself, you know, not somewhere Buddha is inviting here. You, yourself is waking up the Buddha. So that's the, this uh, important. We have to waking up ourselves as Buddha. Then, Sanasa, like, you know, ultra you know, secret blessing. So this is all different kind of offerings. We're not only thinking about this, what we have here offering. Ultra level offering, we have a perfect here, I think, so many. Everything that we have created, we have. This is our support object. But same time, you know, our desires. This is the Vajrayana tradition. So we have offering our desires. So all the desire and the feeling is offering to the human being. Not only this ultra level what we have, right? So then that become, uh, you know and permit and broken or samaya confess. That is the true confession. So it's true. That is a confession. That is absolute truth offering. Mm -hmm. And also the draw that enemy and obstruction obstructors. So you know this delusion is become obstacle. So this is the you know Vajrayana tradition. I mean the like it's actually this is the Mahamudra. So delusion is uh, obst obstacle, obstacle. Delusion means like you and me, right? And uh, dualistic conceptual is a subject and object. So long as we have this subject and object, your mind is always fixation to the ultra level phenomena. So your mind is fixation to the ultra phenomena and then create uh, this uh, samsara coming and claims, fixation. So due to that, we take birth in samsara again and again. So now we have to directly create our service Buddha, right? So we have to directly our, create our service Buddha. You look really into your nature, and you are free from all this delusion conceptual. So that is absolute truth confession. When you see your own nature, we have absolute true confession. So just that right there, all samsara is cut. Samsara is transformed become transformed to the Dharma Dharta. It's, it's, uh, Dharma Dharta is uh, own nature, you know, recognized. 
For many you wish you are blessed for them. When you recognize your own nature, we have joy and bless arising in our mind. In all blesses arising. So that is the become accomplishment and that is fulfill all offering to the enlightened beings. So then that helps become we are get attainment, ordinary and temporary. Temporary and uh, supreme attainment. Thank you very much.